Never fear, Cindersh is here. And today I bring you another episode of Dragon Ball Z Retro Gaming. This one will be our last for the Famicom's Dragon Ball Z Kyoshi Saiyajin, or as I've been calling it, Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Um, this, will be, this should be the last episode, it'll be our fight against Vegeta. However long that takes us, that'll take us. This is where we left off space-wise for facing Nappa, who had been in this spot here. Um, I have done some leveling up. In fact, I'm actually a little bit stronger in most cases than I usually would be um, for everybody else. Most of the times I have Gohan, uh, Krillin, and Tien around maybe 34, uh, 100. You can see they're about 500 stronger than that. Um, Piccolo, sometimes I'll have Piccolo a little closer to 5,000 like this. Um, Goku at almost 11 and will be 11 by the time I actually get to Vegeta. Um, that's a little higher than usual sometimes too, but that's kind of where I would li usually like it to be. I just don't actually always get it there. Yeah, Piccolo doesn't need to fight this, does he? So Piccolo and Goku hit this one out. They're not necessary for this fight. Not at all. I won't show a whole lot of fights, but I'm showing this one because I wanted to show you that little crevice down there. Well, there I don't believe there's actually anything down that way. But since I'm showing maps to show the map, I want you to know what, if there is something down there or not. And since this space was kind of in the way for that, and this isn't a long fight, we'll go ahead and <coughs> show this fight. My main player is at, 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 uh, okay, so there is another seat down there. I didn't realize that. Well, we've got to then just see which type it is. Even though I can't do it, I want to be able to see which one it is. Yeah, I don't like that one anyway. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I'm going to go up north, and all I've got to do is run up north now. Oh, good grief. Yeah, whatever, fine, be that way. Be a pain. What's your best at, right? I think I did them right. I hope so. I've already eaten up more of my time than I really intended to. Showing the uh, Z-square there. Just see, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going around that corner, and that's all I'm doing. If 
really actually hoping to use that Z to move this turn, next turn. Uh. See, all I'm going to do is run up north this way, back up where we came from, but on the other side of the mountain. So I'll be right back as I get up to Vegeta. Okay, and we're up at Vegeta. One move and we're into fighting Vegeta. So let's go. Come on, Vegeta. Show us what you've got. Um, why is the earth trembling like that? <laughs> that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Okay. Let's just go ahead and all the way at the bottom. Eighteen thousand, like he's supposed to be, with twelve hundred HP. We'll go ahead and keep it. Because there shouldn't be any other fight besides this. But you know, sometimes he'll go ape. And I don't remember if Glimmer's going ape will affect Scouter. Register or not. Um, but yeah, you saw how much damage she just did to Krillin in one turn. Now that was one of his most powerful attacks, but still. Alright, okay, let's try this again. So we sure didn't do much damage last round, did we? But he's got a lot of defense. And we've got two people using energy attacks. <laughs> oh man, this is why it's gonna take forever. Piccolo's attack only did 15. I know Goku should do some decent damage at least. Actually, that was a little bit more than I even anticipated. That's not bad. I was worried, but because it was the one defense, if it had been a higher defense, I'd have been closer to right than what I was pre gonna predict. He went after Goku, so that's something kind of too. I mean, he's not going to hurt anybody else.
Ah, uh, but he's got a Z defense. So that's not the best. My one attack could do at this with this card, and I'm gonna see the worst my attack can do with this card. So if 122 is its best. 57, which is about what I was thinking was 50 something. We've got him below a thousand already. I think we should be able to be proud of that. Okay, I'm gonna use that Gohan card that I've got down here. And for one turn, he can't attack. So this time, let's see what the Spirit Bomb does. It's a mid-range defense. Hundred and thirty-three. And at least he's chipping away at that <sighs> HP. Whew. I mean he can't do it as fast as he does against did against Nappa. It goes pretty quick. It goes quick enough anyway. Fortunately. Yeah, we'll get one more. At least. That's gonna hurt. But it didn't kill him. Dodge. Nope. He got a little bit of revenge. He got a whole three of damage revenge, but he got a little bit of revenge. As long as TN's move works, we're okay. Solar Flare. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Shenron, heal everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm, let's go ahead and have go on attack this one time. It's an energy blast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going, Kimpy? Skippy, okay, whatever. This is the order we're gonna do this in. Sixteen. There it goes. <laughs> so 
So while he's blind, we throw up a moon for Gohan to see, right? The question is, will it work? Because I didn't have it. Don't think I had the tail. So this could backfire on me. See what's gonna happen with this. I may have got the moon and wasted it because I didn't have the tail. Oh well. Yeah, there's also supposed to be a card with a ta little wiggly tail, furry tail on it. And I didn't have that, so I don't think my moon's gonna work. Unless it transforms Vegeta. Which, that could be interesting in its own way too, but not good for me. But you know, 700 versus 1200, or seven, yeah, 700 versus 1200. You've almost got him down to half of his life. Which, after this attack, not, I mean, this round of attacks, I, I mean, especially when Goku's attack hits, he'll be below half. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to happen. No transformation sequence. Oh well. I've told you about all of those things, even if I haven't pulled them off. But I had been hoping to pull them off. So I'm going to go big with Hit Piccolo this time. I'm actually going to try and use Tien for his Solar Flare again. And send Goku out with a 3. And he's got a big defense again. But he managed not to kill Chaozu, so that's good. Now, if Goku's only getting an 8, you, you know, that's troublesome. At least he didn't dodge, he took damage. As minor as it was. I don't even know if this is going to do anything. More than one damage. Yep, one damage. That may not have been the best one to use, but okay, we're going to go with it for now. See, that's kind of what I was looking for, was just that. But we'll use that on Goku.
I don't expect that to do much, but we're going to use it. Glad he didn't get to attack. Even if it was aimed at Goku. He had an energy blast attack. Which could have been a big energy shot at Goku. It also could have been his turn trying to do something else. Those always scare me. Because he can almost straight up one off kill. Everyone except Goku and... Gohan's got enough health, I don't think he can one kill, one hit kill Gohan. I don't think he can one kill, Go kill Piccolo, but he'd get really close. And this time we're going to go with the Spirit Bomb. Come on, Spirit Bomb! Oh wow, he went for another energy attack in a row. Two in a row, huh? He must not be happy. That's fine. Even if I just get a hundred on this, that'll be fine. Was hoping for more. And by and large, Goku is having to do most of the work here. But it is kind of nice to have the damage spread around a little bit. Less health than Piccolo, and he's about to have less health than everybody. <sighs> well, he won't have less health than everybody, but almost, and he will. Go in and do this. There we go. You know, I almost not even worth sending Goku out there on that on these ones, but that's okay. There's three I do decent. And it helped that Tien went first.
All right, he's below 300. There is an end to this video, I promise you. There it is. There's an end to this fight, and there's an end to this video. Told you there that we we would have to do it all in one one go. He's holding on. Oh, you, Vegeta. You're holding on. Probably wondering why you're have to hold, having to hold on when you should be kicking everyone through rear end in, but you know. Come on, Vegeta. Oh. Well, he actually is attacking Krillin. I was right, but I just... <laughs> then he didn't, didn't do it first. So how much is this one gonna do? Let's see if this round will finish it or not. I doubt it. I, no, it won't. So I'll do, I should do 90 again. Should do 90 again from Goku. The question is whether or not I can do 19 damage from everyone else. And he dodged it. Instead, it made it even worse. But that's okay. That is okay. Because of this right here. Solar Flare! Alright, Tien. Let's do a tri beam. Let's see what a tri beam does on him. And we'll have to go one more round. This is going to be the longest. But this is the last video for this series. For this game. 
not for the series as a whole. There will be more Dragon Ball Z retro gaming. I do want to make sure you know that. There will be more retro gaming videos. But this is the last one for this Famicom game. We will move on to two next. But we'll be done with the Sa Attack of the Saiyans one. And the Saiyan Saga. to not match anybody because we're going to have to give them the lowest defenses. And even that should be enough to hopefully put him away this round. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Um, if you've not enjoyed this game as much, hopefully we'll pick up a game somewhere along the line. You enjoy a little bit more. Um, remember, these are I am going through very old games, so I mean, gameplay between then and now is very different. Um, but if you've enjoyed the series, if you think it's a good start to my channel, even if you don't necessarily think this was the best game to run with or anything thinking that this this uh, retro gaming series is a good idea and a good start for my channel please uh, like my channel subscribe um, like the video let me know in the comments and this is the end of the game look at them go As always, thank you for watching, and we will be back with new episodes in the near future. Okay, yeah, he left. I was worried there for a second, he was about to transform and he wasn't supposed to do that. But that is the end. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again later.